hi guys welcome to my youtube channel welcome to another episode of lega with gina and uh if you're an old on the channel you're highly welcome if you're new see my face for the very first time thank you for clicking on this video please feel at home subscribe and like and all that good stuff okay you're not going to regret it here um today's video we're going to talk about the legal implication of a foreign company doing business in nigeria so if you're a foreign company you should watch this if you're a foreign company or a foreigner planning on coming to Nigeria to do business, you should watch this. Of course, I'm here to give you the legal gist to this and all the exceptions. Sit back, relax, be informed. Okay, let's get right into the video. So in our former video, we had a video. If you've not watched that, please go and watch so they can also have a better understanding of today's video. Because in today's video, we're going to be comparing Nigerian fashion, right? So in our former video, we discussed that under the EU, companies that are registered in a member state of the eu are free to move around other eu member states and transact and carry on carry on business right however in nigeria according to section 79 of the companies and allied matters act the companies and allied matters act law that regulates companies and companies formation and all that good stuff in nigeria so according to that act no foreign company <laughs> is allowed to carry on business in nigeria except it's first registered as a nigerian company so i'm sorry to break your bubbles right i know you want to just come in and just start business and start making profit in nigeria it is not allowed as a matter of fact by section 79 sub 2 of the companies analyzed matters at any act of any foreign company that is charity to subsection one that that act is void is non and void so so it's not enforceable right every company in nigeria that wants to do business in nigeria you see nigeria maybe is a good market to you and you want to come and do business in nigeria you have to come to nigeria first and register your company so you have to take steps in registering your company while you're in nigeria and get that registered you're not supposed to have a, of an office until you register so get a good lawyer and get someone to inform you and have steps you need to take documents you need to get to ensure that you're registered first as a nigerian company when you get registered as a Nigerian company, uh, you can now do business of any kind that is legal, any legal business. So not because I said any, uh, of any kind, you can do illegal business. Illegal business is not known, it's not, it's not allowed in law, generally. So if, after that, you can go and do any legal business in Nigeria of your choice. After you have done your registration as a Nigerian company. Yes, I know you already registered as a foreign company, but you have to register as a Nigerian company. That is the law. I didn't do the law, right? However, certain companies are exempted from um doing registration so if you're a foreign company and you're listening to me watch out for the exception listen just keep listening to the end so you can know if your company falls under the reception so these persons that are exempted they are not supposed to register a company if they fall under the exemption right this, this is provided in section 80 of the companies and leaders when that's at i think i'm going to be calling it karma guys karma 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 2020 by the way 2020 so, so I won't just reading out the exception. I'm going to be explaining the exceptions so that you really know if your company falls under the exceptions. Paragraph A is that foreign companies other than the ones specified in paragraph D. And paragraph D is talking about technical experts and engineering consultants. So if your company is not a comp a, an engineering company or a technical company, so this one is like for people that are into beauty, um, other things that are not technical and, and engineering consultants, right? So A is foreign companies other than those specified in paragraph D that are invited to Nigeria by the approval of the federal government by or with the approval of the federal government to execute any specified individual project. So foreign companies that are invited by or with the approval of the federal government to carry out a specific individual project, a specified individual project. So they already know the project you're coming to do. You're invited by the federal government. That is the federal government of Nigeria invited you or you are invited with the approval of the federal government but you're not an engineering consultant or a technical expert does a company fall under that exemption if it doesn't fall under this one it might fall under the other three exemptions so let's keep watching foreign companies who are in nigeria for a for the execution of a specific individual loan project on behalf of a donor country or international organization these are like a foreign country or an NGO, international organization, has this particular project they want you to come and do in Nigeria, you're coming to execute that project, not to 
register under Nigerian company, right? You just use a foreign company name and all that and do your business in Nigeria. Okay, let me say, if you know how, let me say China, I mean, China wants to do something in Nigeria now, like a, a project, wants to do a project in Nigeria. That's the Chinese government or, or um, an international organization in China wants to come and do a particular um, project in, in this thing. A particular one, they already know the specified project, and your company is contracted for that project, right? You are free to come to Nigeria to execute that project without registration. You don't even need the government approval or the approval of the government. So you get that. So let's hear the third exception. Foreign governments owned companies engage solely in the export promotion activities. Foreign government owned companies involved engage solely in export pro promotion activities. I think that's the you know, foreign government. So the company is owned by foreign government. It's not a personal individual company. It's a foreign government owned pro um, company. And you're coming to Nigeria to promote export pro promotion activities, to promote export of goods, like maybe take Nigerian goods and all that stuff. So that's like that. The last exemption or exception, this one is for engineering consultants or technical experts engage on any individual specialist project under contract with any of the governments of the federation uh, any of the agencies of with any of other body or person which such contracts has been approved by the federal government okay so this one you have to be a technical expert or engineering consultant that's number one you must have been invited by any of the governments of the federal federal government of nigeria that is that is not only federal government that is you have been invited by me river state government any of the state government can invite you for this one or your or the federal government themselves or a state government and you should also it must be a specified individual project you already know the project that you're coming to do right the contract has already been approved by the federal government so what do you do if you fall under the exemption do you just come and just start doing business no you don't just come and just start doing business so it's going to get this so i think whenever i get to a country that you're not used to please get a a, a lawyer that is licensed or practice in that country right so a good lawyer will be able to do this and know what to do so you have to put details like of your name of your company address of your company in the place of incorporation your certificate of incorporation and if the certificate is not one that is in written in english you have to do a trans a, a notarized translation of the of the interpretation of it for example if your certificate is in french right you have to interpret the certificate and authorize it you have to just basically give them all this information so that they're going to publish it and tell you your exemption like publish your exemption so you don't have any issues when you're doing business in nigeria but the fact that you um there are also cases the period of cases where companies have come to do business in nigeria a foreign company came to do business in nigeria and was not exempted or did not fund the exemption and carried on business and what happened the business was non and void. They could not enforce it in the court of law. When Tech International Estate Limited versus um, E International Incorporated and Associates. The fact that a foreign company cannot do business in Nigeria unless it is registered as a Nigerian company or it is exempted from registration as a Nigerian company does not mean that as a foreign company, you cannot come to Nigeria and have a right to enter into transactions. For example, now you can still come as a foreign company and tell somebody to maybe clean your house or buy you building materials. You're not doing business yet. You still have a right to enforce those contracts in law. So have that at the back of your mind so that someone will not say, oh, you're a foreign company, you've already started. So you cannot, you cannot do, uh, you cannot, you can still enter into a legal agreement. You can still enter into a valid legal agreement. You just cannot carry on business in Nigeria. And carry on business in Nigeria can be seen and defined as carry on activities that will make you profit from Nigerian soil, right? So if you're not making profit, you can still carry on business in Nigeria. You, no, sorry. If you're not making profit, you can enter into agreements and do transactions in Nigeria. You can tell somebody, okay, um, buy these um, materials for me. And the person fails to buy the materials for you, you have a right to sue them in court, in the Nigerian court, to enforce your rights, to tell them to either pay you back your money or do what they, they've, they've said and you've agreed to do under the contract. So the fact that you cannot carry on business in Nigeria doesn't mean that you cannot enforce contracts, normal contracts in Nigeria. 
know the difference and, and this is provided in section 60 of the camera it provides that a farmer permits the enforcement by a foreign company of a legal right accruing to it from a legal a lawful transaction or a business so if you enter into a legal business a transaction you have a legal right to enforce it so that's the fact that you cannot register does not mean that you cannot go and enforce your rights don't let anyone tell you otherwise and get a, yourself a good lawyer right like myself and there are plethora of cases to support this okay to support section 60 of the camera there are plethora of cases to support this okay so don't sleep on your right like i've always said i hope you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and give the video a thumbs up and all that good stuff shall give a comment ask questions where you don't understand or if you need more clarifications write them in the comment section i'm going to interact and answer those questions in the comment section and sometimes if you require me doing a new video so you can understand better i'm going to do that i am here for you guys right expect more legal content from me what other legal content do you want me to do tell me in the comment section i want to hear from you guys right um pertaining to companies in nigeria corporate practice and all that even criminal law in nigeria in fact, any other part of the law, just tell me what you want me to do, and you're going to see that video very soon by God's grace. Okay, don't forget to like. Until next time, bye bye.